welcome. I'm very excited to show you how easy it is for you to convert your child's artwork, whether it be drawing, painting, finger painting, whatever they do, we can turn that into a professionally printed greeting card. So when you click on the link you were given, you're taken to this page. We're going to customize this card. This is called a Kid Lion card, and this is just your base area that we're now going to customize. So click on the word customize and now what's highlighted is the image that has been added. This is from my granddaughter Isabel for the lion that she painted in a class that she took and was very excited to use this on her card. So we're going to come over to the editing area here for the images. We're going to click on edit. And we're going to, you can cut, delete, clear side, Let's just hit cut and the image is gone and now we're left with the background color. If you come to the bottom here where it says printed background color, let's click on white because we're going to start with a white palette to add your child's image. So over here, add image and then we're going to navigate where it says my computer, upload images for your computer or drag and drop your files here. So let's select our image to upload. I navigate to where I have the pattern that we're going to use for Andrew's card. Patterns, by the way, make wonderful cards. You can have either a drawing of something, as Isabel did with the lion, or you can have a pattern card, as Andrew has here, and those, those make wonderful, uh, very professional looking cards, really cool. So now the magic is beginning to happen. There is the image you can see on the look of the card. Now this particular image is not the full complete size that's going to fill the card. That's okay. There's a couple options we can do. Come over to the image editing area and we're going to size it. We're going to scale out or scale in. So let's scale first. Um, we're going to make the image smaller. Let's, you know, make it a little bit smaller and see what happens with that. Now we're going to add a background as we did with Isabel's come to the printed background color and let's select a color. Oh, that looks kind of nice. It brings out the white of the pattern very nicely. Let's try another color. There's blue. There's a dark red. And that kind of is nice to bring it out. Or you can go to this eyedropper tool and you'll see more colors or you can add through the advanced, you can add your, your color area here. Uh, so let's try a red and see what happens on there. Oh, that's kind of a little bright, really takes over the whole card. The white image does not show up quite as well. I like this blue better. And then we also have the option of making this pattern image larger. So let's play around some more with it. And that looks kind of nice where we have that larger and the smaller frame behind it. That can work. Or what I'm going to show you for Andrew's card here is we're going to keep going and keep going bigger and now it is falling off the edge of the card and I really like that a lot. There it's kind of nice. We can go even one more time. Ooh, that's kind of nice looking. I like that. So let's leave it like that. The background printed color that we had on there before, the blue, doesn't matter. We're not going to see it one way or another. Or you can click on this, which is the transparent. When you see the little checks, it means it's the transparent background or nothing there. So let's go ahead and just do that. When I mouse down underneath here over the thumbnails, they will show the side of the card that you can be working on next. Here's the inside left. We're going to ignore that and leave that white. Many cards have a white one. You are free to add an a message on there if you want or a picture but here we're going to customize the right side so once I clicked on that to highlight this we come down to the editing area to the words where it says hope your birthday is roaring with fun we're going to click on change text and now with this particular card we're going to make it into a thank you note Andrew's birthday is coming up and we know we're going to be needing some cards for thank you notes so Let's just say thanks for the let's say thanks for the great gift. All right, click done. Oh, and there we have it. It's changed the text just as easily as that. But I don't like it in one long line. 
Let's change it and make it into two lines. Come down to the words again. Thanks for the great. I'm going to change the text and let's make it into two lines. Click done and that looks a lot better. Now the next step let's do is change the font. Come over to the F. If I hover over that it tells us what this is called which is select the font and it scrolls down. We're going to go back up and we're going to find a and you get, you're going to see all these different fonts. So let's find a font that we might like for him. Let's try, hmm, how about Hank? I kind of like to use Hank. I think that looks kind of fun. It looks like a child's done it, but not too kid-like. Very easy to read. Now this particular font is much smaller. We need to make it larger. No problem. Come over here to the text editing area, and we're going to select. It's currently a 20. It shows us up here. So let's go bigger, 28. I think that looks good. And we can change the color. Come over here next to the text editing. Change the color. Now, hmm, we can do red. Let's try red. Or we could, we've got the blue. Let's see what the red looks like. I'm going to mouse over, look at the front again, look at the inside. I like that. Andrew likes red. We're going to leave that. Thanks for the great gift. Now, if you want to place the message someplace different, if I hold my mouse over it, you'll see the plus sign in the middle of it. That means I can move it wherever I want. So I'm going to center it left and right. Keep it up just a little bit. We don't want to center it north and south like this because then there's not enough room to write where he wants to write. So you're going to have it up about a third of the way up. And then we have room for him to write his name or whatever individual special thank you note he wants to say can be under there so there, there's nothing to do to click to say apply we're fine so now I'm going to mouse over the back and here's where it is exciting where we get to customize the back with his personal name so the same way we've done on the other side come to the bottom find where it says Aiden Maxwell change text and we're going to write his name Andrew Spinoli, and there it is. I'm going to leave the text as it is. I think that's kind of fun looking. The red color's perfect. Now I'm going to mouse back over the front, click on the front, so now we can see the additional options that you have. We're going to come down to our size options. We have our standard greeting card, which is five by seven. If I hold my mouse over there, it will show you the information about it, what the dimensions are, and what the information about the card is. Or you can do the large greeting card. So that is really great. If, uh, you know, I've done that for grandparents, you want to make a very special card for a grandparent if they've been ill, or a birthday card, and you want to do something very special for them, there's your big greeting card. I think for this being a thank you note, we're going to say, let's do a note card. That's less expensive. We're going to do several of these. So I think that's going to work with a note card. Now you have a choice to add to cart, or you can save your design, in which case you will need to set up your name and address, or your name in it to set up an account so that you can save it, or just add to your cart. We like it the way it is. We're going to add to our cart. You have a time to double check it, and looks good, and we're good to go now, ready to check out, as you would any other shopping site. So congratulations. Um, good luck with your child's artwork. They're going to be fantastic. Let me know how it works and what you've chosen for the card. Thank you for watching.